Aloha again, everyone. I'm Mike Drutar, and this is a video for my Hawaii Real Estate Explained series where we're going to talk about real estate topics that we see here in Hawaii. If you find this video helpful, please do me a big favor and subscribe, and I'll be sure to continue to put out more content for you. So today we're going to talk about solar photovoltaic power, or as everyone refers to it, solar PV. There's a lot to cover with own systems, lease systems, net energy metering, batteries, the appraisal implications, and the array of solar PV options that are available for new systems today. This discussion is for the rooftop solar panels that are used to create electricity for the house. We should also talk about what this is not. This is not the solar hot water heater panels that you commonly see on houses. Solar PV panels use sunlight as a source of energy to create direct current electricity. An inverter is used to change that current from direct current to an alternating current, which is what we all have in our homes. It can get a lot more technical from here, but the long and the short is that solar PV panels create household electricity. Obviously, the allure of capturing electricity from that big ball in the sky is pretty tempting for a lot of different reasons to different people. Two reasons that immediately come to mind for me. First is that solar PV can allow areas that are not serviced by the electric grid to have electricity. And in fact, there are large parts of the island where this is what people have to use in order to have electricity. The second big reason that comes to mind is the potential cost savings brought about by solar PV, particularly here in Hawaii. In all the United States, there's probably nowhere more suited for solar PV than Hawaii due to our really high electric costs and our location closer to the equator, giving us much more intense sunlight. Right now, electric is about 35 cents per kilowatt hour for residential use here on Hawaii Island. Compare that to somewhere like Denver at 11 cents, Miami at 10 cents, and even Los Angeles at 13 cents per kilowatt hour, and you can quickly see that producing your own power can be financially attractive. The solar photovoltaic program really began in 2001 here in Hawaii for customers of Hawaiian Electric, which covers Oahu, Maui, and here on the Big Island. Since then, over 60,000 people had solar PV added under what used to exist, which was the Net Energy Metering Agreement, or NEM until that program expired on October 13th, 2015. I have a link for the NEM system in the description. You're gonna to wanna to definitely check that out. NEM was a program which essentially allowed owners to create energy on their rooftop solar PV and get credit back for that energy when they needed it. So for example, if your solar system created 24 kilowatts and that went into the grid during the day, you would have 24 kilowatts of energy to use later on. Essentially, the electric grid was your battery as a homeowner. From the electric company's perspective, this creates a few problems. As electricity is produced on rooftop solar during the day, homeowners tend to use their electricity at night when they're home from work. This would cause some big fluctuations in the needs of the electric grid, which had to be adjusted on a moment by moment basis. Unlike the mainland, the grid is not big enough to move electrical power from one area to another. Eventually, Hawaiian Electric was able to get the rules changed to what we have here today. On systems with applications submitted after October 13th, 2015, homeowners only get credit for a portion of the energy that is produced. The main thing to know is that these have a significant negative impact on the financial benefit of rooftop solar PV when compared to net energy metering. As a result of all that, the industry adjusted and began selling batteries to homeowners with rooftop PV under the new agreement with the electric company. With batteries, your rooftop solar PV produces electricity during the day, which is stored in your battery. And then when you as a homeowner would use that electricity later in the night, you'd be using the electricity that you had created and stored. The batteries added a significant cost to the installation of solar PV, which lessened the financial benefit. As a result, we saw the solar PV installation market go down by about 80%, and the electric company was really happy because like most companies that sell things to make money, people making their own electrical was really suboptimal to that goal. Many solar PV installation companies also disappeared overnight. However, many people do still see solar PV getting installed in their homes because they see a financial benefit. While that benefit is less and the return on the investment is lower, it can still be a good deal. Now, there's another important thing discussed with solar PV, and that is solar PV leases. 
Solar leases can be somewhat common here in Hawaii, and they are something where you really have to get into the details to decide if buying a home with a leased solar PV system is a good idea for you. Generally speaking, this market developed as a way for people to get rooftop solar PV without any upfront cost. The solar electric company would come and install the solar PV panels, and then you would be charged for the amount of electricity that was produced. Generally speaking, these were at pretty favorable rates for the first few years, but you have to pay close attention to the details in the contract because the rate charged for the solar PV electricity produced, it goes up every year under most leases. This means that while you may pay 10 cents per kilowatt hour at the beginning, I've seen it as high as 45 cents in year 20. These lease agreements will have a schedule with which you can do a lump sum buyout of the remaining years on the lease. Some will even have a clause where you can, for an additional payoff, convert that leased system into an owned system. There are some other details that you need to know about leased solar PV systems. First, the solar PV company owns the panels and they are required to maintain those panels. If you buy a solar PV system on your own, the maintenance is at your cost. The other thing that you need to know is that at the end of your lease, the solar PV company has the complete right to come and take those panels and remove them from your property. Right now, we are early enough in this market that we haven't seen leased solar PV systems come to the end of their lease, so we really don't know what will happen. Will the company simply write up a new lease and leave their panels there for another rate? Might they improve the panels with some updated technology and try and get a new lease with you? Might they offer to sell those panels at a really deep discount and then just walk away from their obligation? Or will they really just come and take their panels off your roof and go away? That all remains to be seen and is something that needs to be taken into account if you're buying a property with a leased solar PV system. For a potential homeowner, it really is important to note that an owned system is an asset which does add to the value of your home. However, a leased solar PV system is actually a debt and will not add to the value of your home. So if you have two identical homes side by side and one has an owned solar PV system and one has a leased solar PV system, an appraiser will tell you that their paying the value on the property with the owned system is going to be higher. While there's no steadfast number for the value of a solar PV system, some of the appraisers I've spoken to have told me they value a PV system that is owned at somewhere between $500 and $1,000 per panel. I hope this video has helped you understand some of the different types of solar PV on properties that we have here in Hawaii. I really appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon.